Hey, Shalom. 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 All right, we the brothers here from Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. Uh, we got a special guest with us today, the brother Kaya from the New Orleans camp. Shalom. Shalom. All right, uh, before we get started, of course, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 All right, and also we want to say double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, salutations, much love to the elected visual. That's uh, scattered around the four corners of the earth, giving our diligence to make that calling of election short. All right. Um, in tonight's lesson, we, you know, we're going to be speaking on uh, all these different catastrophes that's taking place uh, throughout the planet Earth. And, you know, uh, us brothers here at Great Millstone, one thing that we're known for doing is we're known for prophesying. We're known for bringing out these scriptures and prophesying the downfall of America. So you can never prophesy enough. You can never speak about destruction enough. You know, hey, even if you're doing a video... On, on, uh, on, on health, you know, you'd be doing a video on herbs, it's still a little window of room to slide in destruction. Yep. You know, it's always that destruction is always going to be there to, to, to present, and that's what the prophets do. Okay, so we're going to speak on this storm going on in, uh, in New Orleans and the, the Louisiana, Texas area brewing in the Gulf. All right, we're going to speak on uh, these earthquakes that's taking place. You know, we're going to speak on all these diseases that's going on. We're going to go in on the microchip. Hey, because that's the time we're living in, man. And being a prophet of the Lord, you know, we have to bring out these prophecies so that the will, the perfect will of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is performed. All right? That's what makes the Lord happy when His word is completed. You know, because remember the scriptures say His word uh, shall not go out void, but it shall accomplish that which the Lord pleases. Mm -hmm. So that's how the Lord is pleased when His word is performed. And, and the words that he's speaking now in these times is evil concerning the wicked. So we got to prophesy against the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You got guys right now bugging out, losing their mind because they're not, they're not grounded in the spirit. You know, they're coming up some other type of way, and they're they, they, they not focused on what's really going on out here. But the real deal, the straight skinny, is that America getting ready to be destroyed, and we see the birth pains, man. That's right. So let's start out with that, um, with that uh, Sirach. You know? This is uh, Sirach, known as Ecclesiastes chapter 40, verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Mm -hmm. Verse 9, death and bloodshed. So these are the things that's going to happen sevenfold towards sinners. And say, it, this all happens to man and beast. So death, bloodshed, go ahead. So death and bloodshed, strife and sword. Mm -hmm. Calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. All of these are negative uh, um, scenarios. Man. These are scenarios that's not likable. This is what's coming to the world, man. A lot of people can't seem to wrap that around their mind, man. This is what's coming to the world. All right? The earth, the planet Earth is about to go through a negative reaction according to the sins, man. It's going to react negatively because you're sinning. <coughs> you're going off. So the planet Earth, hey, the scriptures say what? You reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. Or in other words, like the people say in the world, the laws of karma, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? So the laws of karma is what? What goes around comes around. So what you've been doing in this planet Earth is about to visit you, man. Right. And it's going to come through death, <clears throat> bloodshed, strife, famine, tribulation. Go ahead. It says, it says, in the scores, mm -hmm. verse 10, these things are created for the wicked, mm -hmm. and for their sakes came the flood. That's right. So for the same things that you were doing, in the past time, the Lord bought what? He bought the flood. All right, because it tells you that in what? Genesis the 10th chapter says what? It says the earth was filled with violence, man. So what happened? The Lord gave you a violent scenario with the flood. All right? And the, the water swallowed you up because you reap what you sow. So what about now we living in a time that's even more wicked than prior to the flood, man? It's even more wicked now. So the Lord has multiple scenarios for you instead of just one flood, all right? He has all kind of just different scenarios that's going to consume you people, man. Okay. All right, and one of those is going to be storms, man. Yeah. Okay? Because see, in the time of Jacob's trouble, you ain't going to be getting them, uh, them hurricane trackers you know, to check the hurricane. You know, it's taking trouble. Jake think they're gonna be able to check the track, the yeah. track of the path of the hurricane. Yeah. No, nah, man, it's gonna. The Lord just gonna start creeping up on you, man. Yeah. Gonna send a Category Five.
to, to uh, come right in them. You ain't even going to know it, man. That's the type of spirit Yahweh Hashem was shot coming with, man. All right? Because he's displeased with the wicked, man. He's displeased, man. All right? You people are not honoring the Lord in your deeds, man. And you're wondering why all these situations is, is transpiring, man. It's because of your disobedience. Okay? Keep going, bro. All right, it says, uh, verse 11. All things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again. Mm -hmm. And that which is of the waters doth return into the sea. Verse 12. All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the point. That's the time that's coming to the planet Earth, man. Somebody hold me Joel uh, chapter 2 and verse 1. And then, if you know, if y'all brothers got precepts, you know, just let it be known. Guys, come on, go ahead and watch that. Uh, this is um, uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, showing you that we uh, yeah, the spirit. We can follow in the same, uh, basically in the footsteps of the prophets of old, man. All right, Jeremiah 28 and 8. This is the prophets. If anybody want to jump on it, this is uh, the prophets that have been before me. And before the of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. Hey, if I can say something, it says against. Right. That's showing you right now that there is a disagreement with, with the Heavenly Father and the countries that he commanded us to prophesy against. Because the word, the key word in there is against. That's, right. That's the key word, man. That's right. Okay. And why, why did the Lord ordain prophets? To speak against these places because these places were against the Heavenly Father. Right. That's why. All right? Do you see us prophesying against the kingdom of heaven? Why don't we prophesy against the kingdom of heaven? Because that's pro Yahweh Shah. That's right. You think somebody's going to raise up and prophesy against the kingdom of heaven? Absolutely not. It's impossible to prophesy against the kingdom of heaven because it's going to be uh, overseen in righteousness. That's right. So we prophesying against these places because they are against our power. They are against the creator of the heavens and the universe and the earth. So the Lord commissioned these brethren that you see on this side of the screen to speak against them, man. And rightfully so, man. You people out here are, are straight up and down bugging out. Hey, the, one of the bros from, uh, from New Orleans camp put a video in the chat. And Jake was out there fucking parading and marching around in fucking floodwaters, man. You know, Not, don't have a, 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 the slightest inclination of fear. And you Negroes out here in, in Atlanta. Right. Same you just out here living it up, man. The American dream, but the how about Shema was shot, going to bring all you niggas down that live in this city, man. Mm -hmm. And you and these other cities. If you ain't of the elect, the how about Shema was shot is going to bring you down with a swift destruction, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, bro. Yep. I'll start back. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 20 and 8. The prophets that have been before me. And before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war and of evil mm -hmm. and of pestilence. Now, have you not been seeing brothers speaking on this whole Iran debacle? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you had America or Iran just shot down an American drone. They called out American bluff. Mm -hmm. Hey, what you see America do? Nothing. Right. Right. And why didn't they do anything? Because they know the prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. They know these prophecies, man. Ultimately, it wasn't the will of the Heavenly Father, but these Americans know the prophecies. All right? They know what's prophesied against them, so they're gathering an enterprise. They're establishing an enterprise to negate them final prophecies. That's why you see what? Missile defense systems. Yep. All right? You see uh, this RFID microchip trying to be implemented because the prophecy is that the Edomites are going to go into slavery. Well, they're going to try to establish this microchip to, to create world domination and in the midst of work dominating the world, they're going to stay establishing a, face, a space force, man, mm -hmm. to try to fight back the, the, the heavenly angels, the heavenly host of angels, man. So that, this is all because they are against the heavenly father, that we're speaking these things against them, man. We prophesy in the war of famine, pestilence, all right? Was it any more to that, uh, Elder? No, 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 that was it. You know? So these are very serious times, man. You know, this ain't a time to be fucking sitting on your hands, man, if you got this truth. You know, this is time to put in maximum effort in the spirit, man. The Heavenly Father is speaking. There's just a, a video just surfaced the other day where you can, you can actually see a, 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 a face. And you can oh, see yeah, two yeah. chariots in his nostrils, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? You saw that joint, bro? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> this thing is getting serious, man. Mm -hmm. And you still got Jake out here fucking up, uh, uh, playing fucking patty cake. Yeah. 
get in the game, man. It's going down, man. Any day, man, this thing can pop off, man. We seeing it right now. It's an earthquake. Now we're about to have a, 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 a hurricane of biblical proportions, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, had, um, I had something dealing with uh, how you spoke on, uh, you know, how the prophet to speak against uh, the city. Right, 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 right. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is Luke uh, chapter 12 and verse 51. It says, suppose ye that I, that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. that, that division, all right, the house shot is coming. Uh, and he said, I'm coming out to bring peace, which this whole, the whole basis of this lesson is basically how Yahusha is not coming to bring peace. He's coming to bring a sword. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, a division, man. Hey, because that division is going to be amongst the, the right hand, the people on, on, the, on the good side of the most side, the good side of Yahusha, Yahusha, and the people on the bad side, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and that's going to be that division, and that's why... This place has to be destroyed because the Lord is going to use uh, his, his, the, the objects of mercy pursuing the uh, Romans 9 uh, to destroy the objects of wrath. Yeah. Okay? And if I can yeah, say yeah. too, and uh, really that's going to catch these people uh, blindsided too, because I was uh, leaving work today and they got this big uh, yellow billboard. It says, on one side it says Jesus, yeah. and on the other side it says it's coming. But when people see that, they think like he just coming, you know, to mm -hmm. you know for peace and glory. Right. But hey, it's gonna be the uh, exact opposite, man. That's right. You know? That's right. Yep. I heard different things that's right. Kind of. Okay. This is uh, Matthew twenty four and seven. Okay. okay. And this this this, this kind of like sums up everything right here. What's happening right now? Mm -hmm. It says, uh, for nation shall rise up against nation, mm -hmm. and kingdom mm -hmm. against kingdom, mm -hmm. and there shall be famines and pestilence. And earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. Hey, right hey, and that's what we're seeing now. Mm -hmm. That's it, like the brother said, that's exactly what we see manifesting before our eyes. Alright? And these are things that Yahweh Shah prophesied about thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Alright? But it's it's as for what? The time of the end. So now so how do you know that we're in the time of the end? The fact that we're seeing these earthquakes in diverse places, the fact that we got diseases and pestilence pop um popping up. You know these these different storms taking place because it's all what it's all to basically like the other brother said to 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 basically be, be um, the world to be against this society mm -hmm. you know to <coughs> put out wickedness and put out evil yeah, yeah. you know the scourges for uh, amendment yeah. and yeah. like I say too he's saying in the next in the next verse he say all these are the beginning of sorrow yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Right. all right so what we're seeing right now. This is just this ain't even this is just the tip of the iceberg, man. This iceberg go down deep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, that's, heavy, heavy, that's, that's a heavy point. Even the, even as saying the tip of the iceberg, because the majority of icebergs are underneath the water, man. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. And just like the brother says, it's a heavy point yeah. that he made because this is just the beginning of what's of what's quickly to come, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. yeah, got something I can add on to something you said. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. mentioned something about uh. I believe there was there was there was earthquakes in diverse places, right? Mm -hmm. And what that goes into as well is uh things that transpire in areas that wouldn't usually happen, mm -hmm. right? Just right. like they just had a snow blizzard in Mexico, mm -hmm. man. Right? Yeah. Come on, man. These are facts. All yeah. right. This, this mm -hmm. these scriptures can't be broken, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Most High is getting ready to judge this place, man. Mm -hmm. He about to come from out of his place to punish the to punish the inhabitants thereof, man. Because mm -hmm. he got a controversy mm -hmm. with this place, man. Yeah, right. All right? But I got scripture real quick. Yeah, yeah. This is Rock 39. And I just read to the point 29. It says, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. Teeth of wild beasts. Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, and scorpions? Yeah, that's another thing. The teeth yeah. of wild beasts, man. Yeah. See, the Lord gonna put certain animals on you that you ain't even never knew existed. Mm -hmm. We're talking about nocturnal beings, man. Mm -hmm. Animals that, that come yeah. out when you sleep. Yeah. The Lord gonna bring them out, man. You know, you got this, um, this what, what they call it, the chupacabra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You got you got all kinds of just different. Hey, well, hey, somebody see if, if y'all know where that precept at in the apocryphal. Yeah. What to tell you how to, um, it wasn't a sound how the animal shoot lasers out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I can say something, I got to. Yeah, we're going to finish the precept. Go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. I had uh, seen like a little a fact that said, uh, uh, it said tigers uh, have a good memory, and everything that you do.
dig to them, they uh they they, they uh, try to get vengeance. They got a, a character, mm -hmm. they have a trait, a revenge mm -hmm. trait. Yeah, revenge oh, trait. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, that's a, that's a lot too. Yep, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot. Now, just to back up y'all point, I, I just watched a video before I came over here. I think it was on World Star, but it was a tiger casually walking into a convenience store. Right? Casually walking into a convenience store. That. You saw that? <laughs> right, yeah. And then, you know, people was running out, and they just casually walked out. And so, you know, you got these animals that at certain times, you know, however the Lord has it go, They'll be amongst, you know, civilization. Mm -hmm. So how? Yeah. So what if the spirit of vengeance mm -hmm. and anger was upon that tiger? Everybody in that convenience store would have been told up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. It's right. Yeah, but right. It right. says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, mm -hmm. punishing the wicked to destruction. Yeah. You say punishing the wicked to destruction. So the Lord ain't coming to give no slaps on the wrist, man. All right. The mm -hmm. Lord coming to do the damn thing, man. Mm -hmm. All right? He coming to put the wicked, wicked in total subjection. Mm -hmm. It's going to come by way of death by pain. Mm -hmm. A lot of you people are going to drown. A lot of you people are going to be eaten alive by alligators, man. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of you people are going to be marred to death by bears. A lot of you people are going to be shot down by uh, angelic lasers. Mm -hmm. A lot of you people are going to be picked up by an F5 yeah. finger of God tornado and tossed to the, the, the next state line. <laughs> That's what's going to be happening to you folks, man. It ain't going to be no light. There's a, a, a little pop on the wrist. That's right. right. Y'all better stop now. Y'all better stop. No. Most High going to go, he going to send angels down here to kick your ass, man. That's right. That's right, bro. Just to make, a, just to prove a point, man. And the Lord can do that. He can do whatever he want to do. If that's how he want to prove his point, then let the will of our Father be done. Just let us be found in his good graces. You know? We had any more on that, Kayla? Yeah, nah, that was it. This is wisdom of Solomon, um, chapter 11, verse 17. For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, one it not, means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions, verse 18, or unknown wild beasts mm -hmm. full of rage. Yes, it says unknown wild beasts full of rage. There's certain animals out here in the uh, the Amazon rainforest that people mm -hmm. don't even have an idea that, that that's walking the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the Lord is he can he can easily translate the animals right to America. Yeah, right. He can easily because he can translate man. Yep. He trans did he not translate uh, uh, King David? Mm -hmm. You know, Abigail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what makes you think the Lord can't translate these animals from from them hidden places? Mm -hmm. You gotta remember that. Uh, about 80, 80 to 90 percent of the Amazon uh, for rainforest hadn't even been discovered. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because it's inaccessible lands. Mm -hmm. So if it hadn't been discovered, there's no telling what's over there. The Lord mm -hmm. can take them animals and bring them right over and translate mm -hmm. them right over here to America yeah. in the time of trouble they'll have at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is the type of power we're dealing with, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. A lot of you people, your mind work on a minuscule frequency, man. Yeah. You know? Go ahead, bro. God, this is with the Messiah in 11, verse 18. Or unknown wild beast, full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor mm -hmm. or a filthy sense of scattered smoke mm -hmm. or shooting horrible sparkles mm -hmm. out of their eyes. You got animals out here that can shoot lasers out their eyes. Yeah. You was about to say something? Yeah, I want to make a point. Y'all brothers ever saw that movie Rampage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all brothers yeah. ain't see that. That's yeah. a high spiritual movie, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, because those animals, which is really that, that wasn't nothing but a carbon copy of Leviathan. Right here. Come on, now. We yeah. know Y'all got that, that whole concept from the scripture. That's right. right. Right? So Esau know what it is, yeah. right? That's why yeah. they displayed it right before their eyes. They, I mean, we all know what it is, man. Right? That's right. Most high about to punish this people. Go ahead, make it point, bro. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Whereof not only the horn might dispatch them at once, mm. but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. See? They let them all go at once. Right? Remember when they gave yeah. the Lord yeah. the horn? And they, 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 they all, all came to that, to that, that one oh, area. Yeah, that's, yeah. Hey, and then read that. It yeah. said filled with what, bro? Um, 
Verse 19? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, whereof not only the horn might dispatch them at once. That horn, yeah, go ahead. But also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. You can, you can just see these things and die of a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can kill you just from sight. Yeah. 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 That new version of Godzilla. That new version of Godzilla. Yeah, uh, uh, like like Leviathan, how how huge he was, and people just just oh snap! A lot of people gonna drop dead, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people gonna drop dead at just the sight. Mm -hmm. They are gonna faint and they gonna have a massive heart attack mm -hmm. just at the sight of these creatures that the Lord is going. It's just right. one of many That's things, right. man. Yes. <laughs> but the, but the thing I would mention the movie Godzilla showing you in that mm -hmm. movie, Esau no, because it was like there was various monsters in that movie, and a lot of those creatures. He named them after creatures in the scriptures, man. Ooh. One of them named was Behemoth. Behemoth. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. You know? And it was one of them, I think his name was, um, I think his name was Methuselah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a creature. It was, it was the, if you've ever seen the movie, it was a mountain. It looked like a mountain from regular view, but it was actually a monster. It raised up on his feet, started walking. So, it, man, 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 the most high's mind is way out there, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you look at it, well, that's probably, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's probably Stone Mountain. You know, yeah, it's, it's a mountain. Right. Well, well, man, that's probably a creature under there, man. Right. Just waiting, waiting to jack niggas up. Man. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. Yeah. I have a quick question. Nah, I think his brother wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ahead, bro. It's a lot. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, 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 the, the movie Bird Box, they were seeing them apparitions, mm -hmm. and it was going crazy, bro. Ooh, yeah. And they speak about this right here, the Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, bring it out real quick. Right. This real Wisdom of Solomon is 17. I'm going to get straight to the point. Let's go. All right? But well, really, oh, I got to this yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this Wisdom of Solomon is 17 and, uh, read this thing. All right, 11. Mm -hmm. Well, 10. Yep. Mm -hmm. They died for fear, so it's straight to the point. Mm -hmm. They died for fear, denying that they saw the elf, which cause of which could of no side be avoided. Right? Because on that movie bird box, like they couldn't avoid it. Even when they, they had to go get food, they had to, they blind they had to want blind folks. Mm -hmm. So and they, they took it off in any kind of sort, they'll what? They'll bug out, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they was their hearts was failing them for fear. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's gonna get into it. Cause that's gonna be the energy on the earth, man. It's gonna be a lot of filthy people, man. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the unbelieving and the, and the fearful shall take their part in the lake of fire, man. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. we're gonna be. We don't get it wrong, man. We we still men at the end of the day, man. Mm -hmm. But we gonna know what our terrible power is doing, man. That's right. All right, mm -hmm. he's a horrible, terrible power. We gonna be we gonna be scared, bro. Yeah, we gonna be shook. But after, we gonna be shook up. But we gonna have that faith. That's right. That, right. Right. So it says, for wickedness condemned by her own witness. Is very timorous and being pressed with conscience, always forecasting grievous things. Mm -hmm. uh, and just like that movie, uh, and it's crazy how the spirits got it on movies. Remember, yeah. they were just jumping off the building when the grass went. Uh, oh, you oh, talking yeah. about uh, uh, oh, that was uh, Matt uh, Damon? Matt, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the happening, the happening, the happening, the happening, the happening man. Yeah. There was forecast with grievous things. They were. And they would lay down and let the loom of all run out. No, 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 no. Like, there was doing some, it was some rigorous things being done. It says, for fear, for fear is nothing else but a betraying of the succors which reason it offers. So our minds reason upon yeah, holy yeah, things. Yeah. And the betraying of it is when you take your mind off your hour shot. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, keep your mind stayed upon deep. Mm -hmm. And I will keep that perfect peace. All right. So when you feel, it's basically you're going to give the sequoia means help when yep. you go into that word. Yep. Our help and our aid is who your hawa shot. Right. Right. Your hawa ba shi your hawa shot. And that's what fear does. That's fear, what fear. Fear makes you forget about the Lord. There you go. And make you think about you the repercussions of the current situation you're right. in instead right. of having faith. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people, when that when the Lord bring that fear in the earth, they're gonna be a vic they're gonna fall a victim to fear. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna be a victim of faith. That we, we hope that we're going to be a victim of faith. That's right. That when we see all this fear taking place, we'll still believe and not get, be a victim of no. fear. Right. You know? Yeah. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And it's about to prove everything you just said, bro. And the expectation from within being less counted the ignorance more than the cause which bringeth the torment. Yes. So yeah. about to say, yeah. when you fear, basically, you you put in, you torture in your spirit. Yeah. Because the, the, the scenario... It's not going to be as worse as you anticipated, but it's the expectation. The expect fear is an expectation. Now, man, I'm not scared to do that shit, man. You know, I think yeah. it might happen like this, and it go a whole nother way. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why the Lord tells us, "Hey, don't fear, have faith, because the fearful, 
the fearful is going to be judged accordingly. Okay. That word hope goes into El Pish, which means an expectation of good. Mm -hmm. And that goes into oh, faith, man. You see what I'm saying? That word hope is El Pish. It goes into an expectation of good. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, they got people who feel that means they got an expectation of bad. That's right. Because their adrenaline is taking over them mm -hmm. rather than controlling it. Because our adrenaline can't rush, but yes. we can control it. Right. You see, you can't can control your you can control your agility. Yes. Which means, I mean, your adrenaline, mm -hmm. which means you're then being full control. You'll keep your body under yeah. yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's heavy because yeah. that's when you get them two adrenaline rushes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And when you fear or when you believe. Right. You, know, you ever notice you be I at camp? Register. You ever notice when you be at camp and the spirit just hits you and you just get an urge, a rush, and you just, you, the spirit is just on you. You just, mm -hmm. you remembering all kind of precepts you forgot. You're like, oh, give me that. You know, give me that. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, your, your points is just on the spirit is just, you got a rush. You're just like, you know? But then, imagine when you fear. You can jump a motherfucking 10 feet wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's a rush. Right. Mm -hmm. But which rush is stronger? Which adrenaline rush is stronger and more controllable? It's faith. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord tells us we need to, we got to believe. And remember, the scriptures say, um, it speaks about the fearful, man. It shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Okay? Go ahead, bro. But they sleep in the same sleep that night which was indeed intolerable and which came upon them out of the bottoms of inevitable hell were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions. Mm. Ooh, bro, that's... <laughs> that's you can't, bro, it's hard to break that down. Monstrous. Like, the monstrous apparitions, it's just like on Bird Box, when they were seeing them, they was automatically killing themselves. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. on spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. On spot, man. It was, it was, they weren't taking no time. It was... Yeah. Sitting they throat yeah. neck. Yeah. Yeah. She had a chick banging her head. Banging her yeah. head. Yeah, yeah man. It Remember the guy that got caught in the garage? Uh -huh. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Locked him in the garage and then, yeah. then they let the garage door up and walk right out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A sister ran into the, um, uh, in the forehead on them traffic. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, when, and you saw, like, when our sister, when she got vexed from saying it, she did that, like, Yep. It started, it, be, it basically took control of her. Mm -hmm. It took total control of her and just, Basically, did whatever he said. And them vengeance, that's them spirits, Salaki, that's created for vengeance, is going to do that. Mm -hmm. Right? That bought to have, have his last hoorah, like right. the elder said, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That bought to have his last weight <clears throat> on right. all these people, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Those that, that don't feel the Lord. Mm -hmm. And partly fainted, their heart failing them. Yeah, a heart attack. Mm -hmm. You know? They're going to, they, they, they spirit, they're going to they gonna send so much, their spirit is going to send so much of a rush, adrenaline rush through fear that it's gonna, it's gonna cause their heart to fail because their heart gonna be beating so goddamn fast, man. Remember, fear unleashes a deadly chemical in the body, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, look up this, um, it's, a, it's a documentary. It's called One Nation Under Stress. And they go into how basically stress is just is another form of fear. And that's the deadliest killer in America. All right, because pe people stressing, why? Because they, they fear that they can't pay their they light bill. They fear that they, they, they can't keep, they're not going to keep their job. So they fear that, that stress leads to fear, and that fear unleashes a chemical within you that um, that causes this chemical to stop to uh, increase a heart attack or to uh, make a part, part of your body shut down, hence leading to a goddamn stroke. That makes sense. That's almost like yeah. that's, 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 that's why people commit suicide. Yeah. They oh, yeah. yeah. They, they yeah. Did, you know, when it's life, yeah, they ain't got nothing yeah. left. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. They, they, they just kill mm -hmm. themselves. They mm -hmm. fuck it, I can't. Because fear is torment. Mm -hmm. Fear is torture. Yeah. It's spiritual torture, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I see that. Now, see, you know, I read that in 13. Yep. Yeah. Which bring it to torment. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. It says, for a sudden fear and not look for came upon them. And the Lord is going to bring that fear, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord is going to bring that fear. He's going to torture a lot of you. Because every day you're going to be scared. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to get out easy. You th you think you're just going to get out at the nearest bullet. You know, the nearest stray bullet. You're gonna, you're gonna, that's how you're going to get out of America. No. You got to deal with the, per the pestilence. Mm -hmm. You got to deal with the martial law troops. Yeah. You know, you're going to escape a concentration camp. And you're going you're gonna to take that chip. And the chip going to bug you out. Yes, and you're going to meet a missile. So the Lord gonna take you through a process. You, all you wicked ass people out here, you high-minded hoes, oh, right. oh, boy. you know. Right. The Lord gonna take you through a particular process of torture. Oh, it ain't gonna be easy. 
Because yeah. if you get out of here and a stray bullet shot, man, that's mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, that's, that's the, uh, what's that on? Amos 5, I believe. No, yeah, yeah. This is my, it's my habit. Yeah, I was, I was uh, getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's my, 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 what's my,
every inch of the wickedness set at the end. Okay. They're gonna go through the. They're gonna go through the pestilence. Yep. They're gonna go through the uh, Jacob's trouble. Yep. All right. They're gonna get chased by the Amos five and eighteen. Yep. All right. They still gonna be living. They're gonna be hungry. Yep. They're gonna be gonna eat their children. Yep. And the missiles gonna hit them at the end. And they gonna take the chip. And they gonna take the chip. Bro, that's a bro, that's a recipe for disaster. And if, you, if you make it to a missile, the Lord hates you. Hey, 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 with a yeah. 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 Well, I just want to say, see, and that happened because that prophecy goes into World War One. But that that same torment, you know, that same yes. desire to die. Mm -hmm. How much more in the time of the last war, World War Three, the last, you no, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. these times. How much more in the time when? It's not just going to be a war over there overseas, right, 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 right. but it's going to be war right. at home. Yeah. You know, in right. your neighborhood, neighbors fighting each other, brothers fighting each other. These people ain't going to eat. These people ain't going to be able to, to uh, you know, go to work. The economy's, you know, totally collapsed. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be in total anarchy. Mm -hmm. All right, and everything that the brother just said, you're going to reach all of that, and then the Lord going to drop a, 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 a nuclear. A nuclear <laughs> bomb, you know, the radiation cold. behind yeah. a nuclear warhead. That's cold. Fucking ass. That's, that's why. You, you know, you got. We're not gonna talk about them niggas, but you got the scoffers, right? You know, right? Mm -hmm. boy, you fucking kill this nigga yet, man. Well, it's the Lord preserving them, man. You're right. Mm -hmm. You don't know, but these dudes doing so much talking and, and all these videos, and the most high, you think, damn, how come Lord ain't he drop his ass? Mm -hmm. The Lord is preserving you for nuclear destruction, man. Mm -hmm. right? He gonna take you through all this, all this hell, which really, uh, have you right. talked? Yeah, hey, being being tormented, that's worse than just getting death, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we said, it's taking a bullet to the head, that's that's the most high showing you mercy, man. That's right. For the Lord to just, just, just drag you through all this, you know, uh, all this hell, man. Hey, that's the truth. The truth is how much my shot hates you, man. That's yeah. right. Look, you know? some, some people are going to take bullets to the head and it ain't going to kill them. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're going to still be alive yeah, yeah. and all that pain. Yeah, yeah. Just telling you that the, the wicked is preserved to the for the day of the right. You know, right. know that's, that's in the scriptures. That's right. So the Lord is the He's the Father of Spirits. Yeah. He can have your ass walk around with half a body and still be alive. Yeah. Yeah. You got people out here that got their whole fucking head mm -hmm. and yeah. like a dent in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Like they have like got it mutilated, mm -hmm. and they still alive and kicking. Oh, well, now, yeah. You remember that video where the dude was cutting a branch and oh, the yeah. branch yeah. swung around and hit him in the face yeah. and yeah. 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 all that? Yeah. 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 How yeah. Are you alive? And he could the Lord kept the Spirit. He the Father of Spirits. Go, go ahead, Shema. Yes. Yep. Says. It's Second Peter chapter two verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation, mm -hmm. and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Slot. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Slot. Come. Uh, to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. That's yeah. right. So the Lord know how to do that. He created. He's the Father of spirits. All right. The Lord can. The Lord can just bring your spirit to to the planet Earth mm -hmm. without a body. Yeah. You know, like look, look at uh, Samuel. He, you know, the, yep. the, uh, when when uh, King Saul summoned him through the witch of Endor, mm -hmm. Samuel, his spirit came back. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's talking to Saul. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so the Lord can do anything. Yeah, he got pissed <laughs> off at, at Saul, <laughs> man. Hey, so the Lord can do anything, man. Hey, and the angels, we we entertain angels unaware. So you mean to tell me the Lord can't? The Lord can chop your body in half. You know what I mean? People got amputees. Just the waist down. Man, a lot of you, a lot of you people, man, the Lord will turn you into paraplegics. Leave you somewhere in the wilderness, and you're gonna get ate alive by giant ants. <laughs> just just lighten your ass up, bro. You can't move, you can't eat, and you're just in the wilderness. Don't nobody hear your ass screaming. And you got big fat ass ants just fucking taking you up the road, man. If I can just say real quick, because this brother brought out this uh, Matthew 24, yep. saying that this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. And we was going into a holla, uh, you know, Jake over there in New Orleans, you know, parading in the, in the flood. Right. Yeah. They really making fun of the Lord's power. Uh -huh. yep. You know, and the Lord just showing them, like, I can just, this is just the beginning of it, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. And he's going to show you Jake's. Mm -hmm. The Lord, y'all yeah, watching my shot, going to show you Jake's, man. It's worse than You know, because you, yeah, you Jake's. You you ain't you ain't learned from Katrina, man. Mm -hmm. right, right. You know, here it is every year, pretty much, damn near every year. New Orleans making the list for for crime and violence, man. Every goddamn year, you know. 
they ain't learn. They ain't learn from a, a, a from from the uh, the shit that they doing down there, man. Yeah. So the Lord gonna amplify it, man. He gonna turn it up. Hey, during Katrina, it was like three thousand some people that died, man. And hey, you had Jake that was just floating around the city, just looking looking like a big. They were just blown up, filled with water, man. It's like you couldn't even you couldn't even make out their facial features. They had so much water in their body, man. Hey, what well, like I said, what his brother just doing? Prior to, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. prior to the filming, he was breaking it down. He was busting right. the walls out, you know, obviously. But he was breaking it down to us. It was like, it was, it was hell out there, man. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, yeah. speak, yeah. speak on it, bro. It was a, un that actually, that, that, that death tool was an underscore. They underscored that. They said, yeah. like, come on, you know they didn't tell the truth about that. Yeah, right? Kind of. right? Because at the end of the day, if they really give the actual numbers on everything that happened, right, then that would raise the eyebrows of the superiors. Mm -hmm. Like, hold on, this was, this was basically what? It was, it was done intentionally. Yeah. Now, if you tell them where the, the depth tour would have reached 12,000 people, mm -hmm. they're looking mm -hmm. like, hold on, where was first response? Like, where yeah. was mm -hmm. uh, the, the government assistance or uh, uh, who was supposed to come in? Yeah. And then people start to figure out that it was what? It was planned, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So now that, that you could get a backlash from the, the, the citizens and the civilians <laughs> against the government. Mm -hmm. And now their plan got to pop off early, which they're not ready. We're uh, yeah, not in place. Oh, right. So it's gonna, yeah. uh, everything going to start to what? Unfold itself. Too early, mm -hmm. right? We can't have an uproar of the people until we want them to uproar, exactly. right? That's you see, so everything got to go according to Esau's plan, man. That's it's right. strategic, and remember that Esau's plan is up is is the most highest plan, That's right. Right. all right? right? So Jake right. got a time where they gonna uproar and where the course of their action gonna stand in their own hand. Mm -hmm. It's not time for the for that flood to come in like madmen. It have not happened yet, right. all right? The elect could still be getting sealed. The prophecy is still unfolding. Certain things got to transpire. That's right, brother. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like I said, with yeah, uh, right. this, this upcoming yeah. Hurricane Barry coming in, you know, Jake out here playing around, it ain't going to be no situation where you can just get your little FEMA check and then move to uh, Atlanta or Houston, man. Mm -hmm. That's why Esau got enacted this uh, HR 6566. Yep. So in the case of a, a natural disaster or a man-made disaster or uh, some type of natural natural disaster, what, what have you, they they can legally lock you up under Homeland Security, man. That's right. right. So instead mm -hmm. of just casting your check, you're going to be in there uh, uh, six oh, feet under, man, in, in yep. the FEMA casket. Hey, and they, and they, um, they got um, facilities uh, to where they could um, burn, because it, it, HR 6566 was, uh, was uh, passed during uh, Barack Hussein mm -hmm. Obama's mm -hmm. administration. Mary? Mm -hmm. You know, Barry. Yeah, Barry. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he passed that, he passed that um the House resolution. Mm -hmm. But House is is a mass. Yeah, right? Well, no, this one. Yeah, that one too. Authorization that yep. that too. Yeah. That, yeah, that one too. The National Defense Authorization Act and that that HR six five six six is basically um mass death preparations where they they got facilities, they got huge furnaces, they got furnaces, you know that that can burn. You know, a uh, hundred bodies at a time, mm -hmm. because they're not gonna be able to bury all these dead ass bodies. So they got uh, right. facilities where they can uh, turn up the uh, the flames to where it could burn over a hundred bodies at, at, at a time. That's why they got them caskets. The, the black, black caskets. They, they're gonna put them on a roller, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna send them into that furnace, and they, mm -hmm. it's gonna burn mm -hmm. the whole. Uh, that's in HR sixty five sixty six. It's just a uh, mass death preparation bill, well, and it speaks about that, man. So they already got this whole thing uh, uh, set in place, man, to where you people that don't necessarily make that first wave of death or that first round of death, they still going to have uh, uh, the rights to detain your ass and put your ass in concentration camp. And if you die in a concentration camp, they just going to dispose of your ass like you never existed. Mm -hmm. You people think it's a game, man. We're dealing with serious powers, man. All right? Now, we're talking about uh, it's been over 4,000 earthquakes since July 2nd. Mm. In, in, in on the West Coast, four thousand, man. All right, and you people out here still got them parading around, got them L.A. gang banging, you know, doing all kind of because there's a lot of faggots out there, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and homosexual activity in L.A. Mm -hmm. in California. Period. California is a hub for goddamn faggots. Yes. The whole state from San Fran yeah, yeah, yeah. from the Bay all the way down to L.A. because you got Hollywood out there. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, out here in Atlanta, this is fucking, uh, the, the fucking black gay capital, man. Right. Mm -hmm. And there was an article that just came out. It said if uh, this, uh, uh, homosexuals start to migrate to fucking New Orleans. Yeah. So this whole this whole fucking place is polluted, yeah, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. 
This whole place is fucking polluted, man. And all you people going to find out that the Heavenly Father been against you from the beginning. That's right. Acting like the, the Lord is your personal assistant, man. Right. God, you know, I'm glad and blessed and highly favored. Man. Brother, he's serious. <laughs> Ain't hey, shit. God, let me let I not give you a uh, I have a preset, but I, I just want to land back off what you said as okay. far as the, uh, the earthquakes because people just think it's a West Coast thing. But also, um, you had an earthquake too that was in um, Washington State that was like yeah. a 4.6 uh, near Everett, uh, Washington, which is basically like 50 minutes from like Seattle. See, people just think the earthquakes are just a West Coast California thing. You got the Cascadia fault line in the Pacific Northwest. You got the uh, Ramapo fault line, which is near uh, New York. And um, you know northeastern cities, and then here in the southeast, you got the New Madrid fault line, yep. which is basically in New Madrid, uh, Missouri, basically. Yep. And if that fault line breaks up, the whole Midwest is fucked, man. Mm -hmm. So this, 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 the Lord is bringing mm -hmm. judgment across the whole fifty states. It ain't just California, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, right. Good. Yeah, come on. Come on. No. And with all these calamities and plagues, all right, that you're gonna be caught in the midst of. You're not going to be delivered, man. That's right. All right? The only people who are going to be delivered from these plagues and these calamities are the, are the, the hope of the elect. That's right? right. That's, That's right. doing the will of the Father. All right? How do you get delivered from these plagues? By doing the will of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right? Keep, of course, keep the commandments and having the faith in the Son. All right? Yeah, this right. is um, 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Said Yahweh Shah, I will not spare them. Right. So if you're not, this, these are the requirements, man. If you're not keeping his commandments, if you don't have faith in Yahweh Shah, all right. If you have an evil eye, malicious heart, okay, envy, strife, vain seeking vain glory, then the Lord's not going to spare you, man. All right. It says, Go your way, ye children, from the power. Defile not my sanctuary. For Yahweh knoweth all of them that sin against him. And therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. Verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Upon the whole earth, man. All right. So it's not even, hey, hey plagues are not even just going to come to America solely, man. All right. We see in a, um, you just had a um, flood in Serbia, Japan. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the uh, tsunami a few years ago that decimated Fukushima. Yep. You know, you got the water still riddled with radiation as we speak, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So this thing, the, the Lord is going to bring judgment because you got to remember, America is, is Babylon the Great. This is the mother of harlots. But you got still got these little fucking, uh, these, Jap these Japanese idols erected. You still got more bite. More bites make stinking ass bullshit. <laughs> you know, not to mention Elam and, 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 and Ham. That's right. Yeah. Ishmael. Ishmael, they got idols every goddamn word, man. Yeah. You know, they're doing all kind of obscene, obscene things in the sight of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. So a lot of them places got to get wiped clean too, man. That's right. You know? So that's why I say the, the judgment going to come to the whole world. It, America going to receive the brunt end of it because it's defiled from coast to coast. Yeah. Yeah. You know? From, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, to the Gulf of Mexico, up to Canada, it's defiled, man. Okay. Every state, even Hawaii and fucking Alaska, yeah. it's defiled, man. They gonna get destroyed, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a you statement know? on Alaska, as far as the plagues, yep. that, that, it was 90 degrees in Alaska. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this, they, they got, they got record-breaking heat going on out there. Right. <laughs> the brother from Alaska, the brother from Alaska, you know, was communicating with the bros and was like, man, this is the this is the hottest he's, he's ever felt this since he ever been out there, man. Mm -hmm. man. You know? Damn. So that that's that's deep. You know, oh, yeah. not to not to mention the brother in uh, Hawaii when the when the oh, missiles. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the Lord is showing, man, that them, them countries, them, 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 them states ain't exempt just because they're not attached to the physical landmass of America. Right. They are part of the beast. Mm -hmm. That's right. So 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 um, uh, America's gonna get it. Alaska, Hawaii gonna get it. Certainly the islands out there in the sea. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh like Jamaica, you know, uh, uh, uh Guam, Puerto Rico. The Lord the Lord gonna jack y'all up too, man. 
The Lord gonna jack y'all up too. You know? So this thing is gonna hit on a worldwide scale. The whole planet Earth is gonna reverence your house by Shema with Shah before it's said and done. That the prophets, the men of the Lord, are gonna be the ones to declare his holy name now. Because the Lord is gonna give brothers a particular level of, of, of power, of heavenly power to be able to declare his name. Okay? So Okay, we'll let you finish it. We start at verse 27. It says, For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. Oh, man. See? Meaning you're going to stay put. You're not going to make it. You, you can't die. You can't go to the next state and think you're going to be all right, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You're going to stay put, man. You're going to be right. in it. All right? That's why the scriptures say, um, Woe to them uh, that dwell in the world. Um, matter of fact, was it Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty? I will yeah, bring great miseries upon them that dwell upon the yeah, face yeah, of the earth yeah, because yeah. they walked in great pride. Mm -hmm. So the judge, what is judgment if ain't nobody here to feel it? That's right, man. You know, no, nah, right. you know the people like to say, well, God don't hate the sinner; He hates sin. Yeah. So, so, so He gonna get rid of the, the nigga and, and 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 burn up what the nigga did. Burn up sentences. Right, right. right. You know? He's going to keep the niggas and burn up right. the yeah. niggas. He's going to, you know, he he you know the niggas going to make it out of here, but what he did is going to get burnt up in fire. <laughs> right. That's stupid, right. stupid that's shit. That's, that's some shit a demon could say. Yeah. You know, that's a guilty conscience. Right? Yeah. But because, you know, his ass is going to be fucking on fire. Yeah. That's why right. he made that statement. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, yeah. Jack. You know? Yeah. And the reason is this For God <laughs> shall not deliver you because. Ye have sinned against him. Mm -hmm. He will not deliver you. The, the deliverance is sealed for the elect of the hour by Shema That's right. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. The men, women, and children that were predestined from the foundation of the earth, handpicked by the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, to receive their salvation. Anybody else outside of those lines mm -hmm. are through. Yeah. And I'm going I'm to hit you with this, man. We got, a, we got a high inclination of who the elect might be. Because what they're doing right now. Huh. All right? There's a particular way in a particular fashion that the Lord said the elect would be moving in these times. Mm -hmm. And if a brother's moving in that direction, he's moving in that humility, in that fear, in that faith. And he's diligently given an inquisition on how to be saved. He could very well be a part of that number. But if you still neck deep in Babylon, not with it, without a care in the world, killing your brothers... Selling dope to your people, committing adultery, all right, mm -hmm. uh, gang banging, a homo, doing all these things now. Right. You might not be at that number, man. Right. right. You know, you might not be at that number. Right. You know, and you're not gonna be delivered according to what the scriptures say. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. The Lord got got a, a, a tsunami waves coming coming up to the coast of America. Man. He could hit the East Coast with a fucking tsunami, man. Wipe that motherfucker out, man. Yeah. Yeah. Russia got a, um, a, a, a missile called right. a Poseidon. A Poseidon, yeah. <laughs> they could, Poseidon. They could, if, if they drop it in the yeah. ocean, yeah. Yeah. if they drop that bad boy in the ocean, it yeah. could create a 300 foot wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Lord, Lord of the Waters. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. 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 right. oh, oh, y'all remember a couple yeah. years ago, it was, Russian, um, yeah. it was Russian submarines. Yes. Off the coast of um, yep, yep. North Carolina. Yep. Oh, yeah. Probably yeah, about yeah. 50, 50 to 100 feet off the coast of North Carolina. Yeah. Oh, well, like two years ago? About yeah. two years about ago. That wasn't that long ago, man. Yeah. yeah. And they still got them uh, subs in um, uh, uh, Atlantic coastal waters, man, out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like Pacific. People, you know, yeah. You know they got them in the Pacific. Uh -huh. You know? If All I kinds may, of things is happening. If I may, also concerning the, uh, the missile Poseidon that the Russians. Uh, Possess uh, uh, the wave, the magnitude of the waves are so um, vehement, they can, they, they'll be able to reach the uh, Alps Mountains, man, the top of the Alps. Mm -hmm. So that means everything that you see, if you're in Georgia, if you're in Alabama, Florida, all that is, is going to be ocean, man. Thanks. All that will be just swallowed up, man. Shit. The power of y'all by shooting y'all shot. And that's, that's microscopic to what's going to come, man. That's right, bro. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit of the Lord can amplify that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to. I got something to back you. Uh, mm -hmm. You do just read. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, this is 2nd uh, Ezra 9. And 2nd uh, Ezra 9. 
and nine. I just I read the point. It says, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments." Right. So, like what the brother was reading about, um, you know, a lot of you people is going to get that judgment here, and you're going to stay in that judgment. Okay, you're not going to get away scot free. All right. And, you know, like the brother said, you know, live your life and, and do what you want to do in Babylon. Right. All right. Uh, the Lord is going to actually have you dwell within these torments and feel the uh, 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 destruction. Feel the preachers. Feel the storms. Feel the, the uh, uh, apparitions. Okay. Because what? Because you have abused his ways. Mm -hmm. You didn't take heed of what the prophets were saying. That's right. And they go for you Israelites that know the truth too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. <coughs> it says... Uh, and, it just a little bit more. It says, uh, verse 10, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, which is this time period now, it, 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 it is what we're, we're warning you about, so you can repent and turn back. Okay? It says, understood not, but despised it, the same must, must know it after death by pain. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get that pain. You're going to get that, uh, the, uh, the um, agony and the stress and, and, and what comes with the fear of your worst nightmares coming to life. Yep. All right? And guess what? We told you so. Mm -hmm. All right? The big I told you so was coming, man. Hey, guess what the men of the Lord are going to be doing? Laughing. Chilling. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Lord will have a place of refuge set up for the for the elect because the elect took heed. So the angel, the Lord is going is going to use the angels to guide the elect into a safe place, especially women and children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord is going to have a, a special designated area for them for a place of retreat. Because that's how the Lord get down, man. You know, you got something to die. Huh. Go ahead, bro. <clears throat> this is um. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 14. For the hope of the ungodly is like, is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a thin froth that is driven away with the storm, like as the smoke which is dispersed here and there with the tempest, and passeth away as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. So all this, this, this is false hope that the, the, the masses of the people on earth are putting their time, energy, and effort into, man, because the scriptures speak about uh, their hope. It's going to be as um, well, as dust that's blown away with the wind, and you know, the spirit will be going into a lot, of, you know, a lot of the storms. You know, um, frog driven away with the storm, smoke, smoke dispersed with the with the tempest. You know, but like. The bishop and the brothers going into from you know uh, intermediately in, the, in this in this lesson, there is a, an election. There is, there are men, women, and children who, through their faith, through their works, and just really honestly through predestination, through fulfillment of prophecy, mm -hmm. that are going to be uh, saved men. That's right. So I'm gonna continue on. This is wisdom of Solomon, uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse uh, fifteen. But the righteous live forevermore. Mm. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. It's like the bishop was going into. The, uh, you know, the men, women, and children, their care is going to come from Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Because uh, uh, once the, the Holy Spirit you know, actually began to dwell with their spirit in their vessel, they did the best they could to actually turn to the Lord, put their trust and faith in Him, and try to please Him, man. A little bit more. I'm gonna say real quick because mm -hmm. the evil is gonna get a reward too, but it's not with it's not the right. uh, with the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Last verse. Wisdom of Solomon five and sixteen. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom mm -hmm. and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. Mm -hmm. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this this glory. The kingdom, the protection, the, the hedge against all these things that brothers are going into, that's coming through Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. That's coming through the, the, the host of the heavens, through the angels. 
That's coming. That's coming really uh, also through the, the the angels on earth, man. The the prophets and messengers, and the men on earth who are bringing this uh, this gospel, this good news. Because to you know, on the outside looking in, people who are outside this body and outside the understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shadi, like y'all talking about tsunamis, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and, and mm -hmm. diseases and earthquakes. <laughs> Why the fuck y'all ain't shook up? Because right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shadi got us, man. Lord, we don't get to we continue to move in this in this spirit, man. They're, they're like the, the saying, you know, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Mm -hmm. What we got to fear, what, what, what do we have to fear knowing that we're trying to the best of our ability to please Yahweh Bashim mm Yahweh -hmm. mm -hmm. and trust in this prophecy when the prophecy is through all this uh, 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 mayhem, right. there's going to be a certain number that's going to be saved and delivered, man. Mm -hmm. And also in, inherit uh, and partake in the, the establishment of a glorious kingdom and the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And if I could say one thing to add to that, that's a, that's a beautiful point. Because the prophets always have the ability to look past the current situation. Mm -hmm. So now we in this current situation, but we're using the ability to look into Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. We can we already preparing our mind for that. So then when Jacob's trouble comes, we're gonna have the ability to look to the kingdom. Yeah. Because that's gonna be the next step. So the, prophet, the Lord gave the prophecies a step a, a step ahead of the game. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're looking at Jacob's trouble, bracing for that. But then when Jacob's trouble comes, we're gonna be in it, but we're gonna be looking for the kingdom of heaven. That's the spirit of prophecy. So we're not gonna really be immersed in in that in that moment of, of, of tribulation and destruction because we've already been preparing for it. Our mind, with Jacob's trouble, you better believe brothers gonna be thinking. We about to get up out of this moment. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to be the the, the, the the forward vision. You know, when the, when that's the present circumstance, the vision is going to be, oh, shit, man. We in Jacob's trouble, bro. No. <laughs> this is it, oh, man. We about to be, we about to have it. Yeah, we about to have women. We about to have clients. Yeah, so that's going to be what we're going to be thinking. Yeah, that's, 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 part of, uh, <laughs> that's part of the hope. That, that's the same. And the average, the average person, they ain't on they haven't got no hope, so they think that's this is the end all be all. Yeah, right? that's 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 right. Bugging out, tripping. Mm -hmm. so we got that hope, and we know there's something else coming after that. Yeah, the yeah, truth yeah. tells yep. that, uh, we, that we can defeat death. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we were mm -hmm. talking to uh, our brother. He was like, he said, uh, he said everybody gonna die. So we was like, nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't doing it. You know, we ain't making these sacrifices, you no, know, just to die. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we looking way past that, man. Yeah. Like, you know? They don't really be having nothing to hope for. If right, right. I can add too, that's because we got the faith, man. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm boiling down to. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. You, you add something on that? Yeah, I just want to add, add yeah. on, touch yeah. on that election. You know, real quick. Yeah. Precept is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Let's go to the brothers going into, man. We're gonna be all right. You know, we just be giving you that bitter, you know, that with the plagues and destruction, but that comforting with the spirit, I mean with the scriptures, you know, that, that was just a comforting scripture right there. That that faith and hope, that's what's gonna get us through. You know, we, we ain't do it to the end, we're gonna be those, we're gonna be those men that this scripture is speaking about. Yep. And a lot of people, like what the brother's saying, a lot of people are strangers to that hope. They don't know that this hope is even available. Yeah, that's right. Their hope is in uh dead Frank, big faces, mm -hmm. you know, Lambo trucks and, and, and mm -hmm. Forgiados, you know, five bedroom mansions, bad bad bitches, Balenciaga shoes, mm -hmm. you know, Cuban link chains. That's that's what that's the only hope they know. Mm -hmm. So that's why Jake reached towards that hope. Their whole mm -hmm. mindset is to attain carnal hope. Mm -hmm. I want to get that new this. I want that. I want this. I want that woman. I want. And they get all. They 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 won't stop till they get what they hope in. Yep. But they don't even know that this hope is available. Mm -hmm. So when they when they when they're gonna be in a time where you ain't gonna need Balenciagas to survive. You can't eat Balenciagas. Right. You can't eat uh, uh, Cuban link chain. Mm -hmm. You can't eat Princess cut diamond Princess cut diamond teeth. Bust down you can't eat a house. When they see that their <laughs> main hope. It's not. It, it's to no avail. Right. Then their, their next their next level is fear. Mm -hmm. They're going that hope is gonna translate into fear. And what are they gonna fear? The same thing that they put their hope in. That's right. Cause they don't even. They're not going They're not even gonna know that Yahweh Bashim Shai is available. Neither a kingdom is available. That's right. So what they put their hope in, which is carnality, that's what they gonna fear. That's 
That's why I fear crying out. That's why you have a said to store up your, your treasures in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're not even yeah. as a spirit. Because you're not even focused on what's in this world. You know everything here is temporal. Because eventually it's going to all be all burnt up. So your mind is already ahead, ahead of the curve, so to speak, mm -hmm. looking towards something better, man, which yeah. is the kingdom of heaven. For sure. You know? And then you got to mention, too, just to add to the brother's point, hey, we don't want nothing in this world anyway. Right. You know, we all this stuff is, is, is nothing but vanity. That's all. Everything that we see is nothing but vanity, man. Ain't it? Play it out. Some brothers already got more than people in the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's true. And don't even, don't even really care. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? Some brothers, they got nice houses, maybe a good substantial amount of money, nice yeah. car. You know, they can get any woman they want, you know. Uh, and they don't, even, they don't even care about it, right. you know. So a lot of you people, y'all failing in what y'all got hope in. It's like, damn. You're losers, man. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you got Jake been living in the same trap of Kelly Rose since they've been going to elementary school. <laughs> and proud as hell. Like, bro, you ain't moved. You know, that's a that's a nigga mindset. Yeah, but then you got brothers out here <laughs> achieving goals that niggas been trying to achieve yeah. since they got them grandparents was alive. You know, grandparents trying to achieve the same goals and you niggas still ain't got, got it accomplished. But yet still you want us to have hope. In fucking Babylon the Great. Right. Fuck you and your hope. Yeah, that's right. You, you, you niggas try to make us hope in what you hope in. Right, right. Yeah, you gotta, get, you gotta do this, man. You gotta do that. But you ain't doing it. Right. Your broke ass is somewhere in the trap off goddamn Gresham Road. Stuck like Chuck. Right. Trying to tell everybody in life what to do. Right. And you can't even get off the goddamn couch. That's a real nigga for you, man. That's why the most obvious thing, they, they, the best thing that can happen to a nigga is death. Yeah, yeah. Die. yeah. yeah. You know, and, 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 and let yo your how about Shema was shy, the hundred forty-four thousand and one one third set you up. Mm -hmm. You know, cause them men, you know, starting with the heavenly father, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son, the hundred and forty-four thousand. We trying to establish a, 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 a mm -hmm. utopia yeah. for, for y'all to dwell in, man. Right. But y'all fighting against it, man. Y'all going against what we gotta do. So the best thing for you is to die and then come back and then you will understand what we were trying to establish through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You'll be able to dwell in it. You ain't gonna have to you ain't gonna have to say thank you, you gonna have to thank us and say, man, appreciate it, bro. Bro, go mm -hmm. live, bro. Go live yeah. your life, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like explore. Like be righteous. Explore. Right. Like, you know, dwell on the planet Earth, man. That's all we're saying. But right. Jake wanna Jake want them uh Jake wanna be a, a trap god. Mm -hmm. You know, so the best thing that can happen is a, 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 a ICBM nuclear missile, you know, being let loose by the hands of a drunk Russian. You know? Go ahead, bro. There yeah, was a, a drunk Russian to go out of the name of fucking Dimitri. Dimitri. <laughs> 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 This uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 9. I mean, this is why we got to put our trust in the Most High, man. Right. Mm -hmm. that, he, that we would basically find favor on some, that he would cover us in his bosom, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And keep us from the day and trial of error, or the times of the measure, of, to measure the times that's coming, to knowing that they're evil, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And this, this, and this understanding of the truth, this is the congregation of the truth right here, man. Mm -hmm. All right, now, yeah, we don't fit the format of it. I mean, I guess we not properly dressed to have the, the truth of the earth, right? We, look. we don't got the look, 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 right? The outer the appearance, it says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he mm -hmm. had it kept for his elect, man. Mm -hmm. So the most high is only looking, his eyes only towards the righteous, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And they prayers pierce the clouds, man. He hear with them. All right? His cries, they cries. Right now we crying unto the Lord, come get us, man. Mm -hmm. You know how long? Mm -hmm. How long, man? But but we know that it's a set appointed time that this kingdom can have bounds it can't pass. And then ultimately what? The transitioning of our new bodies. That's right. Then what? 
putting the heathens into subjection, but mm -hmm. ultimately they what? Sitting on our thrones, ruling, man. Right. Dominion, right. man. Yeah. And, and, and like we always, the brothers always say in the camp, if you don't uh, uh, desire dominion, you're not a man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need dominion, right. man. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You're not a real, you're not, yeah, you're, you're not a person of, you're not a being, man. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, man. A real man desires dominion, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reparations. It matches his spirit. There you go. Because we got a dominant spirit. Come, bro. Yeah. The hell you going to have a dominant spirit and you in, in, in subjection. Yeah, you're okay with you control. Control. Yeah, right. Your spirit is dominant. You're supposed to have dominion. Yeah, right. And when you go into the word kingdom, it's the king's domain, man. Right. 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 Man, what? The domain, man. What's what? Rulership. Power, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You got to. You got to. Yeah, no kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish, finish, finish what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we still holding up. Huh? Yeah, 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 man. Uh, the king's domain, man, and it, and, and in order to sit on the on the Lord's throne, man, which we're gonna do on the twelve throne, judging the and, and ruling the kingdoms, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta put that work in, man. That's right. Bro. All right. You gotta be hands in. Knuckles down right now, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know what prize, man. Right. You gotta strive for the mastery, like all we all. Get first Corinthians 9 and 24, brother. Mm -hmm. Going for that prize, man. All right? No one's striving for the masters. And that's what we're doing here, man. Mm -hmm. All right? That which is in part shall be, shall be whole, man. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Go ahead. It's 1 uh, Corinthians 9 and 24. Uh -huh. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. Right. They which run in a race run all. And during that race, all right, it's going to be different. Speeds you're gonna be racing. You're gonna be going through through uh what do you call them optimal <laughs> courses that you do all kind of swimming, ninja, jumping. Ninja, uh, no, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a terminology for it. When you're in an optimal cruise and you and you swimming, you jumping, you climbing the room, the try to try to laugh with them. Right, man. Right. So yeah, and this and this what uh going through this truth is about because a lot of you men, you know, here that's been in the truth for a while. Have, uh, men that have been traveled, like uh, men that travel, all right, they can tell you about the trilateral, uh, it's a lot, I'm pronouncing it right, wrong, right, right, but right, they right. can tell you about what? The hiccups, the ups and downs, the time they, you know, felt like giving up, yeah. the time they prayed and got strength with the most high, strengthened them up, man, and, yeah. and constantly what? Over and over, man, is a, is a, recurring, a recurring thing, man, That's all right. right? Building more and more your faith and your strength, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. He says, so run. That ye may obtain. Right, run so ye may obtain, man. All right? Oh, sorry, it, I skipped the part. You did? Yes, yeah, so I'll do it. It says, Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, uh -huh. but one receiveth the prize. Right, one receiveth the prize, man. All right? And we all working on our salvation and fame trembling, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we here, man. Okay, right now, man. Right now, you can, it's a lot. Of, you can honestly say, Well, what am I doing here, man? All right? When you examine yourself, what are you doing in this house right now for the Lord, man? Mm -hmm. You putting the work in for the Lord to receive what? Mm -hmm. That prize. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we running. Come on. All right. It's uh, verse 25. It says, so run that ye may obtain, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Right, he's temperate in all things, man. Okay. He's what? He's, 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 he, he know how to adjust. And hey, you got to know how to adjust, man. You got to know how to, how to, how to, uh, abound and abase yourself. Yeah. All right. This goes into temperance, man. Yeah. All right. Paul knew when to abound and abase yourself, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. When to be humble. All right. When to hold his tongue. When to bridle his tongue. Yeah. All right. When to go. You know, that was it. No, that wasn't it. All right. Go ahead. All right. It says, um, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. Right. But we an incorruptible. Right. Immortality. Mm -hmm. Right. We sit there. And we, and we, like you, like you, like you mentioned, brother, you say that we're not doing, uh, uh, maybe it's him, we're not doing this for nothing, man. Yeah, right. We got a, we got a crown that we're expecting that's laid up for us, man. Mm -hmm. And all us that's in here should have that faith on a high like that, man. That's right. You know, should have that faith believing that there's a crown laid up for thee. Come. All right? And that's why we do the works. And that's why we live in the work. Because the most high is not, for, he's not, un, uh, he's not unrighteous to forget mm -hmm. our labor of love. Mm -hmm. Which goes back to Hebrew, man. Right? And that's the label, man. This would, if, if the Lord forgot, this would all be in vain. In vain, right? right. right. You know, because right. we did all this and then the Lord just, he just forgot you. That's why he just, that's why he said, just, man, look, give diligence. Just remain, bro. I got you. Just stay, just stay locked in, man. You know, don't, just don't waver. I got you. 
Even if you do have to taste of death, I guarantee the Lord is going to confirm it. He's going to confirm it. Yeah, he's going to confirm it. You know, he's going to confirm that, that you were of that number. You know, but our hopes is that we don't even have to drink that cup. You know, that's our hope. Hey, and the scriptures tell you that. The scriptures tell you that. That there be days, there be some of them standing here that shall not taste the death till they see the the, uh, the Son of God coming in His glory. Man. And hey, and I'm gonna tell you what, man, you need, you should believe that. If you on the front, if you on the battlefield for your how about your mouth shot, you you really one of the last candidates for death. That's what? right, right, yeah. You know, you're the one of the, you you one of the first candidates for life because the scriptures tell you in Ecclesiastes 8 and 5, he that keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. That's, that's going to be a part of putting on the incorruption, mm -hmm. is escaping these scenarios of death. Right. Where it's like, you a sure shot of death, but how the fuck you get away from that? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. How you get away from, uh, like, Esau might come and get you, run in your house and, and put you in a, um, what they call that shit when they line you up, blindfold you, and they, uh, everybody, uh, 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 fire and squad. rapid fire, yeah, firing fire. squad. Yeah. They might put you in front of a, a firing squad, and then, then the spirit just, the Holy Spirit is activated, mm -hmm. and then everybody that they got a gun aims towards you, you 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 put them down. Mm -hmm. That's the type of faith yeah. right there, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. And yeah. even if that, if I could, if I could back up, mm -hmm. and even if that visit us, the scripture tells us that on in Revelation that our works follow it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this, but this Psalms one sixteen and fifteen, it says, "Precious in the sight of the Lord of Yahweh by Shem Shah." Is the dead of his saints, man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's precious. That's, that's precious. precious, bro. That's that's precious. Precious. That is pre so. Even if so, either way it go, you get the victory, man. Mm -hmm. right. But hey. make sure you die in the line of fire. That's right. Yeah. Hey, the scripture say honorably. Mm -hmm. right. The scripture right. say uh, 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 whether we live, we live in Hamashiach, and whether we die, we die in Hamashiach. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So even if you die, you really conquering death yeah. because you're gonna come back like how was I did? How was I die? But how did he conquer death? He rose on the third day. Mm -hmm. of course. He finished his course. Right. We know. Mm -hmm. But there, there's a, 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 a particular number of men that's not even going to go down that route. Right. You know? There's a, a, a large portion of, of men that's a part of the fold that's not going to drink of that cup. Yep. Because Yahweh Shah drunk. Yahweh Shah really drunk the majority of the cup. Yeah, He's right. just giving us a, 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 that's why the scripture say you're a light affliction. You know, working mm -hmm. for a far exceeding weight of glory. Mm -hmm. yep. Is this a light? This this like basically, I was shot drunk a whole cup of wine, and he left like a little, a little, um, a little bit for one hundred and forty-four thousand men to drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. there's one hundred and forty-four thousand men just got to drink a little portion of the cup. Right. He pretty much just took the whole cup. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why the scriptures say, "Hey, death is followed up in victory." As a matter of fact, somebody give me John 16 and 33. You was about to get that? Yeah, real quick, because because we speaking about Yahweh Shai and how he overcame, but Yahweh Shai telling us, like, bro, you good, man. Don't even worry about it, you know? Don't worry about it. You okay. Just do what I told you to do. You'll be fine. Let's get that John real quick, Doc. This is uh, John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you that in that in me you might have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world you shall have tribulation. Yeah, so yeah, I was trying to say, yeah, you're going to have tribulation. You're going you're gonna to suffer. You're going to go through some things. All right, go ahead, bro. But be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. He said, he's telling you already, I've overcome the world. And what is the world? The world is just nothing but death. Mm -hmm. He's already overcome it. He defeated, he defeated every shot that Satan could possibly take at him. Mm -hmm. And the final shot was what? Was the was the uh, being crucified? Mm -hmm. That was the last shot. And they were trying to get him to denounce to denounce the Lord. Say, come down off the cross. Mm -hmm. You know. So everything that Satan threw at him, he, he overcame it. So he's telling us the same thing. Like, look, man, be of good cheer. I've already overcome the world. What y'all going through? I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. Just drink your just drink your little cup. Mm -hmm. You know, take the trouble to be here before you know it. Mm -hmm. the, the, the blessings that the Lord gonna give to, to brothers. During Jacob's trouble, is going to be a major. Yeah. That's going to be the beginning stages. Well, one of the beginning stages of the reward of Yahweh mm -hmm. Power. Yeah, at some point, spiritual power got to, got to kick in. That's yeah. a prophecy. Some, at some point. Yeah, that's yeah. a prophecy. You know, so 
whoever whoever is predestined for the, to do miracles and wonders and put a thousand, somebody got to put a thousand to flight. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody got to put ten thousand people to flight in right. order to justify the words of the heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. It right. will be done. Somebody got to so heal. Somebody had to, Somebody got to heal somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to raise somebody from the dead. Yeah. Right. Somebody got to fly. Yeah. Like I tell you in Isaiah 40, somebody got to fly. Fire got to come out somebody's mouth. Yep, fire got to come out somebody's mouth. Bro. You know, uh, what, else, what else, bro? What else the Lord said? Oh, somebody got to be as David. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's going to have to uh, be like a lion in the midst of uh, the yeah, Gentiles. Yeah. So somebody got to stop it from raining. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So all of these are prophecies that the Lord yeah. spoke. And none of these things shall fail. So we have nothing to worry about. You people out here in this world... Really, right now, if you in that area of Louisiana, you better, better, if you ain't in the spirit of the Lord, you better be doing it. You better be getting the fuck away, man. Yeah. You know? You better be repenting. You got some people getting closed out in a minute. This Isaiah 4 and 8, to show you that the word, the, the father watch over his word to perform it, right? He, 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 he watch over his word to perform it, man. One thing the Lord can't do, going back to Numbers 23 and 19, it says he's not a God that he should lie, man. Mm -hmm. All right? This Isaiah 4 and uh, 8, it says the grass withereth and the flower faded, but the word of our power shall stand forever, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, that, and you know, that's, and that's it, man. You know, the Lord magnify his word above his name, man. That's right. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So he, he's watching over his word to perform it. And the scriptures can't be broken. Going back to John, man. All right? Everything that's in the book going to come to pass, man. That's right. All right? We got that firm, stern belief on that, man. Mm -hmm. that's right. Right. That's right, hey, that's right, bro. Right. You know? So we're going to go ahead and get ready to close this thing. You, got, you have a closing precept on you, a priest? Yeah, kind. And this yeah, just going back to these, um, these uh, storms, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How the Lord's going to bring the judgment. Right. You know, bring them back home. Uh, uh, Isaiah 28 and 2. It says, Behold. The Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Mm -hmm. and we know the hand is the Lord's power. Right. So yeah. the Lord's power is coming through with these storms, man, whether it be earthquake, whether it be hell, whether it be a flood, whether it be a hurricane. This is the how about you was shot executing his judgment in the earth. And like the other brothers been saying, Look, man, if you if you're in the path of this storm, the call out to you is to repent. Mm -hmm. Okay? Repent because the Heavenly Father is calling out. But if you refuse, the Lord's going to cast you down with his hand. And they already right. documented chariots flying into this very storm. Yep. Mm -hmm. they, they say it was a fleet of chariots that flew into the eye of the storm. The, the hurricane uh, Barry. Uh, trappers. Yeah. You know, they put that in the, uh, in the article. About Hurricane Barry, they saw yeah. yeah. leading chariots flying into the eye. Wow. So this, this the, the man, the Lord is in this thing, man. <laughs> if I can say a little bit, I just oh, yeah. the tracker while we're doing the lesson. Don't be surprised if Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shad don't uh, strengthen strengthen that hurricane uh, to a, ma a, a, a a monumental level, man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't be surprised, man. Yeah, the very last thing. Yeah, don't be surprised, man. Yeah. You know, hey, so that hey, you know, you know, that's that's about it, man. You know, we hope. That the word came out strong and edifying for, for the sincere elect. And we hope and pray that the Lord just, just start bringing this destruction. That's right. Because the earth needs needs destruction. It needs a, a reconstruct, man. That's right. Yeah. You know, it needs destruction so and, and construct. That's right. That's right. All right? So the, this, this place got to be torn down and the earth got to be built back up. So, hey, you know, the sooner the better. But at the end of the day, it's all according to the will of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. Right. But at the end of the day, we hasten the day, man. Right. We hope we hope something happen now, man. Right. You know, we hope and pray that, that the Lord magnify this storm just to make an example, man. And yeah. we hope and pray that the elect that's in them areas, them targeted areas, we hope and pray that the holy angels of Yahweh by Shema was shot, watch over them. Right. As for everybody else, man, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know, so with that, you know, hopefully it was edifying. You know, uh, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Rakakadash. All right, double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, safety, and much love to the men, women, and children of the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.